Well, good afternoon, everybody. You are looking at our one row of beans, and it looks like uh, we're about at an end here. Very close. I went through and uh, just picked. We got another, uh, basically, full container of beans. A lot of beans. But I think this is probably the end of it because of the heat and uh, the dry weather for the last two weeks has really taken the life out of my bean plants. But the one thing I did notice, if you look here, I've got a straight up poles for the beans to kind of the top there did not fill out very well but here where I slanted the bamboo towards the central location and the fence uh, everything filled out extremely well so that's something I'm going to keep in mind when I plant beans again they seem to grow much better uh, growing like this I'm going to quickly take a walk down to the well here and our bean fields down below and show you how the flowers have basically almost all disappeared there's still a few flowers left but uh, I noticed when I went through and just got done picking that uh, it's probably coming to an end very shortly and especially if this hot weather persists which uh, according to my weather forecast here uh, it's looking like very little rain at all for the rest of the month the rain we got over the weekend was nice <clears throat> now, that kind of rain keeps the jungle going but it does little good for the garden here as you can see uh, the flowers are about non-existent there is still a few left still a few growing here uh, you will see uh, still some beans hanging you will also see that a lot of it is starting to die and especially this area here which was normally full of flowers is uh, no longer so so I've got a feeling that that last bunch I just picked which was huge again uh, will probably be the last big bunch of beans that uh, we're going to get here and there will definitely be a few more if we do get some rain here in the next few days uh, that will pick it up some I'm sure I just uh, basically wanted to show you uh, <clears throat> and I, I they were planted the beans were planted oh boy I'm thinking about the first week or two in December so we got pretty good production oh got excellent production out of it I can't complain about the amount of beans that we did get because uh, you saw the bunches on the videos here and it was pretty amazing all the beans that we did get from uh, these two small patches I'd almost uh, wish that uh, we had planted more of the rice fields in the beans but uh, the cost of building these trellises here in order to support them and that was a wee bit beyond my budget but at least we got this done here to show what planting a different crop in the rice fields here would actually do like I said, the rain the last uh, couple days over the weekend here, as it is now Wednesday the 13th, uh, actually my pond went down, my pool went down, my well went down. <laughs> uh, so it uh, benefited the small short rains like that really don't help us here, our water table here. And especially when it's followed uh, generally by the intense heat that uh, 
that returns as soon as the sun comes out uh, it does really very little most of it I think uh, and I believe really just evaporates right back into the air that's on the surface and none of it really gets down into it as you can see if you look down here uh, this is almost like rock down below here uh, the soil is very compacted together oh there's a couple of beans I missed and because it's drying out like that I'm sure the roots are not able to get uh, the nutrients that they get especially like I said if it rains or not so I'll let everybody go here We'll probably get a few more beans out of here. It was definitely a success, much more so than I ever would have thought of here in this location. And so uh, I'm very happy with the results. And I expected as soon as the rain stopped, uh, everything really dries up and burns up and hardens up here in a hurry. So I'm going to say goodbye for now. I'm back here still. <laughs> <laughs> as I always am in back of the camera here so uh, thanks for viewing the videos our videos thanks for putting up with uh, oh our slow internet here and not being able to get a lot uploaded onto the internet here as it continues today and uh, like I said they, it, it changes it's like a roller coaster ride I'm sure it'll eventually go back the other way for a while until then we just do what we need to do in order to uh, keep going on the YouTube channel here so and I'm going to walk back up to the house so I'm going to say goodbye and uh, everybody please have a good day and we'll be back with you again